Hi, welcome. My name's Aaron. I did make a video previously on fixing up your USB connection between your Nexus and your PC. Now, if you've gone through that video, hopefully all is fixed. If, however, not all is fixed, well, that's probably why you're here because you might still be leaving out two important components that you can't leave out if you want to successfully connect via USB your Nexus 5 to your PC. So we're going to get uh, right into those two components right now. Now, even though I've plugged my phone in, it's not showing up yet. So the first thing that I've got is I've just made a screen uh, a screen view of uh, this. I just took a picture rather. And you can see over here, allow USB debugging. The computer's RC fingerprint blah, allow. So I could check that in on, on, the, on, the, on the phone over here, and that'll always allow from this computer that um, it'll, it'll do that automatically. So I'm just going to go, I'll just shut that and it will happen. I'll just try that again, bring it up, plug it in, try again. Okay, I've got that message I just showed you. I'm gonna click OK, and now the computer, there we go. So we'll just reduce that to make it into some sort of fairly readable size. bit too small put it back to 50 okay here we go so here's our um, Nexus 5 and I'm just going to go to the settings and I will click on the top right hand corner just up uh, just over I clicked on the top right hand corner there and then I'm going to click over here on settings and I'm going to go down I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and there is something called about phone. Now you've got to click on this seven times. Oh, sorry, you click on about phone once and you go to the bottom where it says um, build number. And I'm going to click on that seven times and that'll bring me up a message saying you no, no need, you are already a developer. Okay, so I'm already a developer on this phone. I don't need to click it seven or eight times. And once that's done, it says congratulations. I'm a develop, you're a developer, and then you'll see over here there are developer options. So you click on developer options, and once we can see that, and then we need to have this one over here clicked. USB debugging, debug mode when USB is connected. That has to be checked. If that's not checked, that could be critical to connecting this little machine to your PC. So that's the first thing that has to be um, done in order to make sure you successfully connect to your PC. So once USB debugging is done, we're going to move on to the next one. So we're going to click on to settings and we're going to go down to storage under settings. And then I'm going to right click up top on the three dots over here. I'm going to click, sorry, on those three dots and it says USB computer connection. So I'm just going to click that. And then you can see it says media device, MTP. That's checked. Now, if that's not checked, what happens? I've just lost my connection. So I'm going to re-tick that and hopefully this will come up. If it doesn't, I might have to re-plug it in. I will, I'll just re-plug it in. And that should come up again. And I've got that um, allow USB debugging. I'll click OK. And there we go. So those are the two really important elements you need to have in place in order to successfully connect your Nexus 5 to your PC. Um, the first one we said was USB debugging. That's got to be checked. And then there was the media device, MTP, up there. That's got to be checked as well. If you have those two things in place, then I don't see any other problem. You might want to also try rebooting your um, Nexus 5, and you might also want to try rebooting your PC as well. 
This is all done on a Windows 7 machine and Windows 8 usually is a bit easier but again these things need to be in place on both operating systems to ensure that it actually successfully works. If you haven't done so already, I would also strongly recommend have a look at my other video, which I'll give you a link to, just to uh, put all those steps in place to ensure a connection between your Nexus and your PC. I'll also put down some short steps of today's video on what you need to do exactly in order to make the connection for the USB debugging to be checked, as well as your MTP item up over here to be checked. One other important item, by the way, that I've got to say as well is to ensure that you successfully connect. Try using an original Nexus USB cord between your PC and your Nexus because sometimes it doesn't work on other cords. Okay, so that's the conclusion of this video. I really hope that it helps. And if it does, please click on the like button. Until then, bye for now.